Welcome to our video on troubleshooting Yahoo Finance. Today we're addressing a frustrating issue that many users have encountered. One of our viewers recently reached out with a question about a URL they've been using to fetch historical data from Yahoo Finance. Unfortunately, it stopped working just yesterday. They shared the link, which leads to a message saying, we'll be right back. Our engineers are working quickly to resolve the issue. This has left them wondering if the service has been discontinued. They also mentioned that their search for answers only led them to a related topic on Stack Overflow. So is anyone else facing this problem? And how can they resolve it? Let's dive in and explore possible solutions together. All right, guys, welcome back to another tech video. Today, we're gonna to be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution for you. Now, don't forget to stay just a little bit crazy like me, and hopefully you'll get to that resolution. Anyway, on to the video, cheers. If you're experiencing issues with the Yahoo Finance URL for historical data, you're not alone. Many users have reported similar problems. The URL you mentioned, iChart.Finance.Yahoo.com, has been known to be unreliable. Yahoo has made changes to their API, which may have caused this disruption. To check if the service is down, you can visit the Yahoo Finance website directly or check their official forums for updates. If the service is indeed discontinued, you can explore alternative APIs for historical financial data, such as AlphaVantage or IEX Cloud. Lastly, if you need to access historical data urgently, consider using web scraping techniques as a temporary workaround, but ensure you comply with the site's terms of service. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. If you're having trouble with the Yahoo Finance URL, you're not alone. One user found a workaround by using the download link on the historical prices page. They logged into Yahoo, exported cookies using a Firefox extension, and retrieved data using a Perl script. Perl script creates Unix time variables for a date range and uses the wget command to download historical stock data. The user hopes Yahoo will simplify this process in the future. In summary, while the current method requires some technical steps, it works. Users are looking forward to easier solutions from Yahoo Finance. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. If you're having trouble with the Yahoo Finance URL, here's a PHP function that can help you retrieve stock data. It extracts a crumb and a cookie from the Yahoo Finance page, which are necessary for accessing the data. To use this function, simply call it with the stock symbol and the desired date range. For example, to get data for Apple from June 2nd to June 3rd, 2017, you would use the function like this.
Let's now look at another user suggested answer. If you're having trouble with the Yahoo Finance URL, here's a Java solution. First, access the cookies from the URL connection. Next, search for the crumb in the Yahoo site by reading the input stream and using a regex pattern. Finally, set the cookie and connect to the desired Yahoo Finance URL to retrieve your data. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. If you're having trouble with the Yahoo Finance URL, here's a solution using Python. First, you need to get the Yahoo Crumb cookie with a specific function. After obtaining the cookie and crumb, you can use them to make a request for stock data. This involves setting up parameters for the stock symbol and time period. Finally, you can send a request to the Yahoo Finance API to download the stock data using the constructed URL. For more details, you can check out a helpful blog post on downloading Yahoo Finance quotes with Python. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. To fix the Yahoo Finance URL issue, you can use a PHP script with Fopen. First, create timestamps for your start and end dates. Next, you need to send a cookie with your request. Set up the cookie and HTTP options. Then, use Fopen to download the CSV file with your ticker symbol and crumb value. Finally, process the CSV data in a while loop. Remember to set your own values for ticker, crumb, and cookie. For more details on retrieving the crumb and cookie, Check out ED0906's approach on Stack Overflow. And that's it, guys. We've gone through, answered your question, I hope, and you found that resolution. Guys, if this helped, please hit subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. And until next time, have a good one.